Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through and show you how I uh, successfully replaced my hard drive in uh, my Western Digital My Book World Edition. So this is the model that I have. It's the white one with the white light and uh, a single hard drive. Um, there was a lot of instructions out there and I tried a few of them and this is the only one that worked for me. So I'm just going to go through it step by step. Um, thanks to this website, iknowsomething.com, I'll provide the link below. And he created a, uh, a script uh, to install the firmware and this is the only one that's worked for me. I've tried a few different ones. So uh, I'll provide the link below. Lots to uh, lots of thanks to um, the owner of this website. Um, in my video though, I'm going to go and use Nopix instead of Ubuntu. So go ahead and do that. Even if you don't know anything about Linux, that's fine. We'll go through the ex uh, exact steps. Uh, the only other thing you'll need is 7-zip. Uh, if you're going to use Windows, 7-zip um, is great because it extracts pretty much every format and um, you'll, you'll need 7-zip uh, to extract this uh, gzip file. Okay, so let's get started. So in this website, pretty straightforward. So first thing to do is go down here and download the firmware. So if you click here, it takes you to this Western Digital website. Click Upgrade File. You can see down here it's downloading uh, version 1.02.14 and this is the one that I used. So go ahead and do that. Uh, that's all we need for now. Scroll down a little bit and um, also download this one, mbwetar.gz. It's a zip file, so download, it's really small, download that. And um, once you've finished downloading that firmware, in the instructions here, it says to rename it to um, fw.img. So just go ahead, do that. Okay, so now that that's done, so once you've downloaded it, I've just put on a little 4 gig USB, make sure it's formatted to FAT32 and not NTFS. The mbwetar.gzip file, when you extract it, you'll get these four files and that's the firmware that's been uh, renamed to just fw.img. In here the only thing we really need to do is on the bottom of your My Book World Edition you'll see uh, some a sticker with some very small numbers on it. Go ahead and look at that. We're going to open up this file. Uh, it's very straightforward. Um, he's gone through and made it so simple for us, so that's excellent. Uh, what we need to ch change in here, what you're going to need, is you're going to need to change your serial number to match the number um, of your box. The model number here explains here if it's a one disk version, use that code. If it's two disk version, use that code. Um, and the other important one is your MAC address. So obviously your MAC address is unique to you, so make sure you put yours in there. This disk label. Uh, we will change later in Linux, but if you're not familiar with Linux, then obviously it's just a lot easier to do it in Windows. So go ahead, do that, save it, put it all into the same folder on a USB drive so we can transfer it over to uh, Linux later. We go and prepare our disk drive. So to do that, following the instructions, uh, right click on here, we're going to want to go manage. Okay, so go to disk management, find the drive, and this is the one that I want. So you can see it's 2 gig, it's formatted NTFS, but that's not what I want. What we want to do is right click on that. I'm just going to go delete the volume, so I'm delete the whole thing. So now it's unallocated. We want to go new simple volume, go next, next, just that's fine, leave it as default. But we don't want to format it, so go do not format this volume, go next, and finish. Okay, so it's raw, alright, that's all we have to do to prepare the hard drive, um, and that's it. So reboot your computer with that DVD of topics you created, and we'll go in there and finish this off. Okay, so I've booted up uh, Nopix. If I open up the default folder, you can see that's the 4GB hard drive with the uh, MBWE folder I had. 
and that's the firmware and they're the four files so what I'm going to do is I am just going to copy this whole folder and put it into here under home nopics so just go paste I don't want to run it off the um, uh, USB obviously so it's under home if we click in here home nopics MBWE so we just got to remember that uh, as you'll notice that it doesn't come up with the um, external hard drive because it's in a rule format so the beauty about nopics is if you go into preferences go to G parted what it'll do is in here it'll scan for everything that's detect uh, plugged in okay so once it's finished um, what we're looking for is you want to click up in here Oops. so what we're looking for is that two terabyte hard drive that's plugged in so it says DV SDE now that we know it's the SDE that we want we want to get back into this config file um, and edit that the only thing is when you click on it it'll say do you want to execute it make sure you don't because we uh, we just and we want to but we want to open it as a text file and down now here is where we can change SDE that's it okay so remember everything else we've already changed and then we can go save now that config is done okay so now that's all done we want to go into this emulator terminal go to home Nopix MBWE folder let's list it to make sure we're in the right folder it's all there and what we want to do is go type sudo to run as an administrator and then dot slash mbwe install obviously read that it brings up all your settings uh, I know everything's correct and I'm just gonna go yes and then just let it run it only take about a minute Okay, so that's pretty much done. Shut that, shut it all down, put the new hard drive into your old case and boot it up. Uh, okay, so log in with the default username password, which is admin admin. Okay, so we're in. Let's go storage. There we go that's the the new hard drive it's a new two terabyte hard drive in there please click the like button if uh, it's helped you out all right so um, thanks for watching 